Hey guys, Mitch here from the Audio Dabbler YouTube channel, and Happy New Year. Sorry it's been, it's already 10 days into January, and I haven't put out a video in a little bit, but just been doing some things, um, trying to figure out some different directions that I want to go, and, um, and whatnot, and today I'm just going to do a little tutorial on some impacts for, like, cinematic trailers, and so I just... I took my handy Zoom H4n Pro to my laundry room. I was putting in some laundry, and I dropped the lid, and I was like, huh, that sounds kind of uh, impactful. And so I just sampled the washing machine, just banging on it on a few different places, slamming the lid down. And um, so I did that, and then I had a violin patch from uh, one of the – sample libraries uh, that you can get inside of Beatmaker 3 and I came up with this so that's a really just big impact and so I'm just gonna kind of walk you through on how to do that so I'm just gonna click on a, a new pad that way I can keep, reference this so I'm just gonna do the one right above it and let's go in there's no samples on it, so let's drag and drop a sample. I guess I could just search right here. Washing machine. And that's the one that I had. And so this is what you got. <clears throat> a bunch of different, and this right here is just the clean sound. Let's trigger it. Oh, that's how that has a bunch of the already has the effects on it. So let me go back and turn off the effects that I have, so you can hear just the raw sound. Okay, so there you go. And what I did is I found one of the one of the slaps that I liked. I think it was the second one. And so you can go into the edit and one thing I like about this is it's it's got is non-destructive and so I can zero this in that I if I want to let's uh, get out of all this all of that bring out the whole menu and just trim and so now I have this on a separate layer um, okay, so that's one layer. Okay, so now I can browse back into the washing machine, and then you need to make sure you need to add to new layer, add to existing layer, replace sample. So you want to add it to a new layer, and then load it up. Okay, and so now I have a new layer inside of this channel right here, or this pad. That gives me <clears throat> an extra impact. And so I can do the same thing. I can stop everything. I can find another one of the impact sounds that I wanted to work with. Maybe this one. Let's mute the first one. That one might be a little more thuddy. Um, let's see how they sound together. Okay, I kind of like that. And so now I can do the same thing. I can go to the edit and I can trim it. And you can see it's giving it little washing machine in the bracket 005. And so it's keeping the original washing machine intact and it's just bringing in, um, it's just creating a new sample. So it's non destructive to the original sample, which could get kind of crazy if. You know, you do this a lot, and you know, got a lot of these extra samples just laying around. But you know, you can always, you know, pretty easily clear out the ones that you don't want. Um. And so let's. Uh, what else was it? Okay, so that was it. So I was. Uh, I played around with that. I got those two samples in, and then so I started doing a little EQ, just rolling off a lot of the highs. 
this one, I might want to go back. So let's just do, let's click on pad 5. Let's just add our own EQs into this. Bring up the RZA. Kind of like that. Okay. So then for, you know, big impact sounds, you want some reverb but you don't want any pre-delay okay you can mess around with the early mix if you want make the room size bigger maybe the decay a little bigger so you're already getting that big kind of impact sound um, but let's just, uh, we need to boost the volume a little bit. So that's why I went in and added a dynamic compressor. And then just did the makeup gain a little bit to just boost it. Um, and you can also um, just uh, boost the gain of the individual samples. Right now I have it at the just kind of the default. When you import a sample, it'll go to negative six. So now it's really more it's louder and it's just a little more impactful okay but a lot of those cinematic sounds have has almost like a note or like a woo, kind of a, a subby bassy kind of note going on so i was like i started to create one from uh, from scratch but i was looking around because i was way down here at the bottom and i found the violin let me just try the let's try the cello cello to a new layer and you kind of got to on this you kind of got to figure out how long um, you want it to go for and then just because um, I don't want to hold it I don't have to hold it because then it's going to hold and release I just want to be able to do a one shot you know like that and so I'm just going to let's see. I'm just going to bring it down here to two seconds. Let me go into edit and just trim this and then fade out. And that'll give me a nice good fade. I guess I could go ahead and normalize it. Um, now let's start pitching it down. 12 start out with. I think I had a little low pass on it earlier. Other one too. So you get a little bit of a distortion here. Again. And we can always go back to the effects. Maybe bring the makeup gain down a little bit. Wait, wrong one. There we go. And then the last thing I added was a little saturator on the other one. hear that just coming in like a big like cinematic movie trailer just like boom I love this all right one more thing that uh, I forgot to mention was so you have this so what do you do with it and so what I decided to do was I just created a pattern you know, pattern one here, and I went into the edit, 
I added in a note to it and then I just stretched it out to three because that's about the reverb the tail you can't it stops being audible a little after uh, the third bar and so I just stretched it out to four just to make sure and then I went to export export one bar so I'm gonna go ahead because I already did I already exported the first one that I did so I'm gonna go ahead and export the second one and we'll go ahead and we can play that Okay. And so now we can just easily, if we wanted to just export this for something else, go in here, one bar, 24 bit wave, star export. And so now it'll tell you that the export is available in your exports folder. So then I can go easily go here um, under your file menu, go to exports, new session because I didn't save the session. And this one is today, and this is a little bit later, so the 1208, so new session here. So that's the new one that I just did. And so I can easily go select this, rename to impact2. Not sure what I called the other one, dot wave. And then I renamed it. I can bring up Dropbox, big impact one, and then I can just, wait. I can't drag it over, but I can upload. And so now I'll put the, put it back into, uh, I got a collaboration folder with one of my buddies. And um, so that's that. And that's easily how you can just do it and then share it. And, you know, you'll be able to bring it into other programs that you want, bring it into your, um, you know, do whatever. So uh, thanks, guys. So anyway, hopefully this was uh, helpful to someone. That's uh, maybe looking into uh, doing some cinematic trailer kind of music. If they're a film uh, filmmaker or something looking for a quick, easy way to get that cinematic trailer boom. I mean, this is seriously, you know, didn't take long. What I've been doing, ten minutes and uh, from scratch, and you got a nice little, nice custom impact. You know, you could use anything. I've, I, whenever I did this, I went ahead and went around the house and. I banged on some pans. I banged on the uh, the dryer. Um, doing con some construction in the bathroom, so there's cleared out. So I banged on the wall in there, and just to uh, see what else I can come up with. So not going completely going to sound effects, sound design uh, tutorials on my channel, but I am going to implement it because I really love doing you know some things like this. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully. Um, you got something out of this and uh, just like continue to like comment and subscribe and I will talk to you guys later